Hey y'all, Coach in the Fight here from the YouTube channel Coach in the Fight. By now, guys, I hope you understand this is a different kind of channel. I mean, sure we're on YouTube, but our purpose on YouTube is not to be famous or rich or anything like that or even make a name for ourselves. This is really an anonymous channel devoted to helping you guys, those who are watching this channel. You know, over the years, We've done a lot to try to help you guys. We've not only brought out hidden scriptures for you, told you about the feast days, we told you how the calendar works. We've even gone as far as to tell you how to build sundials, how to modify clocks in order to use them as celestial calendars. We've told you how to identify herbs that can be used for our healing and some of the other benefits that our father has put here on the planet for our survival all kinds of things we've done over the years to try to prepare us for this day well it appears to me that this day is here it's really starting to get serious out there guys all of the things that's going on and coming up on the world i believe our father is really letting us know that we're here and we should be really considering our own survival so in this video that's primarily what I plan to talk about. I must say, I'm not telling you what to do. Before we get started, what I'm telling you to do is to pray about these things. We are instructed to get his guidance before we make any moves. But what I want to do in this video is show you a move that you probably never heard of. Something you never even thought about. And that's how... We can acquire some land off the tax sale. Now, you've probably heard of tax sales before, and they work a little bit different in every state. Um, you could probably check the state you're in or check other states. The only state that I really know about is my home state, and that's West Virginia, because at one time I was buying large amounts of land in West Virginia. And in today's video, I'm going to show you how I was doing it. Okay, so we're over here at the West Virginia State Auditor's Office. That's WVSAO.gov. And we're going to come down and look for where it says Land and County Collections. Now, it shows you these forms here. You'll need those later, and we'll come back to them. But when you come down, you see this thing that says Search Delinquent Lands. These are lands that is on the tax sale. Some of them have just hit the tax market and some of them have been on there a long time. Well, the way I remember it is if the person doesn't pay their taxes, one of the first things they do is take the land to the auction on the county steps and offer it up to bid. But if nobody bids on that land, then it's turned over to the state auditor's office and they then own that land and they sell that land. And so you could come on this website and actually find that land. Now, let's come in here and let's pick on a county. We'll pick on my home county. That is MacDowell County. Now, when I was born in MacDowell County, it was one of the top 10 most wealthiest counties in America because of the coal mines. But then when the coal mines mechanized, all of those people got fired. And when I left Magdal County, it was one of the poorest counties and still is one of the poorest counties in America. And that's because nobody has bothered to do any development there as far as industry is concerned. But that's what we're looking for in these end times, that's the wilderness, these places that don't have a lot of human activity. Well, let's look in MacDowell County and in this search block, we have to scroll down where it says status. And then what we do is we click on the status button and look where it says no bid. What this is saying is that this land has gone through the auction at the county steps and nobody bid on it. So this land actually now belongs to the state. 
So let's click on it and see how much land the state owns in McDowell County. All right, so the first one pops up and we'll just pick on it just so I can show you guys how this works. Um, I'll probably block out the name here. One of the things we wanna do is drop down and look at this map. Now, it wasn't like this when I was out there actually buying this property. We didn't have maps. I had to go to the courthouse and pull these maps up myself. But, you know, that was maybe 15 years ago. It's all digitized now. Well, you see here that we're looking for these ones in the red here, which says no bid. And there is our property that we were just looking at right there. So let's zoom out. And when we do, we see that in this town called Berwyn, there's not only this property, but there's others. There are one, two, three, looks like four lots that are available for bid in this area. And when we zoom out further, we see that there is even more of these little land lots that are for sale. The thing about it, guys, let's go back to this form here. The way this works is you take that information. If you decide that you wanted that property, you take that information and you go to this delinquent land bid form and fill it out. Put all of the information in here and you actually send this in. And I did this, like I said, many, many years ago, back in about 2008, 2009 or something like that. I actually bid on and won about 30 different properties using this form right here the thing about it when it came to the bid amount and how much i was going to bid on it i actually literally only put in one dollar for each one of those properties i bid one dollar on each one of those properties i bid on maybe a hundred of them and some of them were redeemed you have to go through a process um to actually get the deed in your name you know it's serious business you know there's lawyers involved but the whole process costs less than about five hundred dollars per land you know most of that is in the uh title searches that the lawyers have to do and you can you can find some that'll do it cheaply and then they have to um draw up the um the, the documents the lawyers they, they get about two hundred dollars out of it um the newspaper they get about $200 because you have to um, run an ad in the paper letting them know that um, you are about to take possession of the land, giving the original land owner the last chance to redeem it. And like I said, some of those people actually redeemed the property, but out of um, maybe 50, I ended up with about 30 properties bidding a dollar on these. Let's click on this one, notice to redeem and see what it is. Like I said, it's been a long time since I did any of this. Oh, this is what I believe the form that you run in the paper, um, which basically guarantees that once it's all said and done, the property will belong to you. You know, after you've ran this uh, certified ad or something like that. And like I said, that, that costs about two, $200 or something. I can't remember exactly but you're getting whole pieces of property you know and this town right here this looks like a town maybe big creek i'm not really sure about big creek all right so let's just come to an area that i'm more familiar with um this is kimball west virginia you see all of these vacant lands in kimball as we zoom out like we said, each one of these properties can be purchased for a dollar, plus all of the lawyer's fees. I'm not gonna tell you they're gonna end up buying it for a dollar. Look here at the area that you're talking about. When we zoom out of this small itty bitty little town, see what we're talking about? This is West Virginia. This is McDowell County, West Virginia. It is one of the poorest, if not the poorest county in the whole country and you see how people have actually abandoned all of this land all of these orange dots in here are abandoned land that belong to the state 
All of this is mountains and trees. There's no buildings or anything in it. This is Keystone, West Virginia. You can Google this area. Uh, here. That Keystone is not the basketball capital. That's just where my house is at. This is actually the basketball capital here in North Fork. Let's see what interesting we can find in there. Oh, see this big land right here? Notice how it tells you who it belongs to. See the owner? Pocahontas surface. And this is coal mines. They're, they're mines. That's all belonged by mines. And that's the way this area is. All of this area, like I said, is it was a huge coal mining area. And the miners still own it. That's why it's so vacant. There's nothing there. See that? This whole county is like that. There's mountains and trees. There's there's water in the mountains too. Not quite sure where we'll get food from, but you know, I'm trying to orientate myself, figure out where I'm at. There's the main highway, Route 52. There's the railroad tracks. I'm really trying to see if there's any big industrial buildings still left over like there used to be a Kroger's. Let's hit right here. Don't look like it's up for bed right now. But a lot of these other places are. Some of these are abandoned houses, uh, dilapidated houses. Uh, a lot of them are just land. It's a huge uh, four-wheeler resort places around here. That's what they use it for. People ride four-wheelers. They come from all over the world to ride four-wheelers in this county. Because it's all mountains, trees, and they get to go all through the mountains and stuff. But, I don't know. If you guys are interested in any of this, I, I'll be glad to help uh, figure out how to do this. Um, but, for you guys living in the cities... Wondering, you know, what is the father's plan for you? Could it be that you could go to the hills of West Virginia? You know, it's not an easy life there, but, you know, I don't know. Pray about it, you know, pray about it. This is Mercer County, places like Bluefield, West Virginia, and Princeton, West Virginia. But this this goes on all over the state. It's just not so many in the other places as it is in McDowell County. I don't know. Yeah, I'll pray about it. And, you know, now shit, you know, pray about whether you're supposed to come here. You know, that's that's an option too, but you know in order for you to come here you just have to have the father's permission. I'd like for all of you guys to be here, but you know, I'm instructed to not let anybody come here without him directing you. you know, so y'all pray about I pray about this stuff. It's getting serious out there, guys. Let me know if I can help. I am here to help. This is Bluefield, West Virginia. Look, look like if you wanted to, you can buy the whole town. Bluefield, West Virginia. I mean, that's where it looks for right here. This is that's, that's kind of like the city part. That's why you have all of these little lots. But notice how many of them there are in Bluefield, West Virginia. You know, so again, this is a state auditor's office, and uh, yeah, let me know if I can help. Now, before I close out of this, let's let's look at some of these other counties. Um, this is MacDowell down here. This is uh, 
mountainous area, McDowell County. Um, we looked a little bit in this Mercer County area. But let's come way up here where DC is at. See what counties are there. Uh, this is Jefferson, Berkeley, and Morgan, Hampshire. Let's look in those counties. Uh, see what's over there. They, I wouldn't be surprised if there's nothing there. But let's just look. So again, we go to wvsao.gov, scroll down to where it says delinquent land, or where it says land county. Again, uh, we scroll down to the search delinquent lands. And there's Jefferson. Um, and then we want the no bid ones. It'll show you everybody's property if you play with it a little bit, but we're really only interested and the ones that's no bid. And turns out there's a few, maybe even more than a few in Jefferson County. That's up by, well, I'm not sure. Let's, let's, yeah, that's, that's gonna be close to DC. See, there's that side over there. Um, there's DC there and then there's that Jefferson County there so let's see what's in that there's one property there that's the one we were looking at it looks like it's probably owned by some type of coal mines well it used to be they've abandoned it the coal mines have abandoned it now um, think about that idea guys you know I don't know if anybody should go on the ground but these are literally coal mines And so there's a there's a few of them we can see kind of sparse up in that area as you can imagine this is part of where these where the rich people live in West Virginia up in Jefferson County. I'm surprised that anything's up there at all. as far as it's gonna let us go but um, there's Jefferson uh, there's Berkeley West Virginia Martinsburg um, so you can get an idea where we at but if we zoom in just a little bit it starts showing us all of these properties that are up for bid you know like I said you could bid a dollar on them Like it's someone be in Clarksburg too. Let's click on it. Well, looks like there's a lot. It look like city area. Um, all those little house lots, but there's a lot of them in that county. Like I said, this goes on all over West Virginia, and I've been through the process. So I'm straight up. And they may work like that in other county in other states if you know um, other states that work similar you know you guys can uh, put it down in the comment section I mean people are living in the cities uh, not everybody has somewhere to go outside of the city you know until you start discovering stuff like this guys I don't know how much time we got left but um, it, this is a very industrialized area here I don't know about you might be going from one city to the other, going to a place like Clarksburg, but. Um, guys, if all of this ain't making sense to you, you might want to check out my video that I did on where is the wilderness. This is the wilderness, guys. I used Ukraine as an example, but uh, you ain't got to go all the way to Ukraine to find the wilderness. Guys, look at all these mountains. Right, this property out here by itself. This one looks like it's by water. Look at these. Not quite on the river, but it's close enough to get some water. 
Just an idea. Father wanted me to share it with you, and I'm just being obedient. Let's see what happens next.